Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Raylynn. I'm a new budgeting mom of two. My husband and I are on a journey to become debt-free by using the Dave Ramsey inspired cash stuffing method. If you're interested in following along, just keep watching. Hey guys, so today I thought I would film a budget with me video and kind of go more in depth of how I come up with the denominations to put in each envelope every single week. My husband and I keep money in our bank account for our rent, car payment, fixed expenses, like our utilities and credit card payments and stuff like that. And whatever's left over after making all those payments is what we pull out and put in these cash envelopes. So I use cash to get groceries and household items and we pull out cash to put in envelopes that we want to save up for, like medical, for example. We'll stuff that every week to build up a fund, if you will, so that way we wouldn't have to use our credit card in the future when something medically happens to us or one of us needs to go to the doctor or anything like that. So I hope that makes more sense and how I do things around here. So let's just jump right into this video. Um, I'm gonna, what I do during this process is I kind of go and look through each of my envelopes to see where I'm at for the week. I'm filming on a Tuesday and I usually go grocery shopping on Wednesdays. So right now my grocery envelope is still full because I'll be shopping tomorrow, but that will be gone. That will be gone tomorrow. I have no gas money in my wallet left. Um, I spent... $10 out of household, so I need to replenish that one. And then kids and miscellaneous are still good to go in my wallet. So we'll just write down what I need to stuff in those categories. So groceries, I do 200 a week normally. Drinks needs a 20. Gas needs a 20. Household needs a 20. And then kids, it has quite a bit in kids. So I'm just gonna do five and then five for miscellaneous as well. And then we'll go into this binder. My husband, Justin, gets $40 a week to spend on his lunches and energy drinks or you know anything at the gas station that he wants to get during work. So. He'll get his 40. Yeah, kids have like 50 bucks in here, so they're good. Um, coffee, I'm gonna do five. This week is a little bit lower than normal. That's okay. I'm just gonna try to cram as much as I can and spread it out as much as I can with the $400 that we have this week. So, yeah. Personal hygiene, I need to do, let's see. I'm gonna put 10. And first, let me turn this on. That's what I normally do too. I'm so thrown off. I usually don't film this, so I'm sorry. Um, 200 minus 20, 20, 20, 5, 5, 40, 5. I'm left with $75 after that. Okay, we're at baby needs now. So I just got diapers and wipes. And I like to keep around 60 in here and it's at 30. So I'm just gonna do 10 this week. Pet care, pet care has a lot in there still. Um, I'll just put five. This is our list of things like birthdays and above is like our necessities. So we try to stuff that every single week and then towards the end is just extra. Um, clothing was 120. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a five for that as well. Okay. I'm not gonna stuff Costco. I'm not stuffing that. I'm not gonna stuff electricity or that vehicle maintenance. 
it as 105 in here. We'll go ahead and just put five to make it 110. Health. I think it has 130 or 140. I'm just gonna do 10 this week for that. Co-pays, I'm gonna do five. $35 left, okay. Um, medical, I'm gonna do 10. I was able to put a good chunk in there last week, so. That is it for that one. And the, the next one is low priority, which has the birthday. I'm not gonna stuff any of this. Birthdays. Let's go ahead and do, I'm just gonna do five for the rest. There's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we'll just do five in every last one of these. So five, 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 five. That zeroes it out. Okay, so next I go to this section and I kind of just fill in what denominations I would like to put in each envelope. So for groceries, I normally just do 100, a 50, two 20s, and a 10. Drinks, I'll do a 20. Gas, I'll do a 20. Household, 20. And then fives. For Justin, I like to do a 20 and two 10s. Coffee will get five. These will get a 10. Fives. 10, five, 10, and then fives the rest of the way. Okay, so now I total up my denominations here on the bottom. That way when I go to the bank, I, I could just tell them how much of each denomination I would like to have. So 100, 150, one, two, three, four, five, six, six twenties. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve fives. That's pretty much how I do it. Um, I got this sheet from the Aesthetic Dollar. It's actually part of her budget binder that she has she offers as a digital download and I love it so much. I can print off however many sheets um, I need whenever I want. If you guys are interested in this, you can just go to her website. It's theaestheticdollar.com and I know she just redesigned the, the budget binder for 2024. It's pretty similar, but there are some, some small changes and it's basically the same thing. So yeah, if you're interested in that, check her website out. And that is it for this video, you guys. If you guys liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.